You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Since Coach Cos has been at Garen, you know, he started last year there, so this is his second year there. He's really kind of brought a new fire and a new life into that program. Um, you know, the kids seem to be excited to play for him. Um, you know, he's intense, and he gets those kids ready to play each week. Ridgewood, they're, they're just tough. And, you know, I'd really like to get our program to that level where it's not about talent. They just are going to smack you around, and they're going to get after you. And it's, it's enjoyable to watch them play. It's a team effort, so it's hard to try and take away an offense that you have different people emerging as stars each week. We got four guys that we think on at receiver that if they have the ball in their hand can, can do damage, and we have a running back that we think can do the same thing. We have to focus on just trying to stop them uh, from running the ball because then that allows us to defend the pass a little better. I think we're all looking forward to a, it being a great game, a lot on the line for both teams, you know, as we march towards the playoffs. The communities are right next to each other. And even though we're a private school, a lot of the kids have grown up with each other. So I think both schools are going to be well represented. I think our kids are excited. I know that they're playing well and they're excited about the big one we had last week. And I think they're just ready to get out there and uh, you know, let's see what happens. Welcome everybody to River Grove for the CN100 Game of the Week. Today, a battle with a conference championship on the line. It's Ridgewood against Garen Prep. Hello everybody, I'm Jim Blaney along with Jack McInerney and this is the time of the year when we talk about playoffs, we talk about conference championships and that's what's on the line today. Jack, if Ridgewood wins this game today, they win the Metro Suburban East and they're on their way to the playoffs. Well, that's very important to them because last year, as you well know, Jim, last year they ended up 5-4 and four, thinking they were going to get in and they didn't. They're not going to take a chance this year on any kind of bubble situation whatsoever. They need this game, and they're going to go after it big time. Speaking of bubbles, that is where Garen Prep finds themselves coming into this game. They are currently 3-4, and four, so they need to win today and need to win next week to have a chance. Their opponents' victories, they're, they're in the neighborhood, but they have to win these last two games. They have to win the last two games, and then there's still a possibility they might not. They're coming off a big game last week where they scored 74 points. So offensively, they're very potent as well as Ridgewood. So this could be a very explosive ball game. Zacharias has come out red hot out of the box. Three out of three, and he looks to throw again. Looking left, going long, down the sideline, has a man again, and it's into the end zone. Touchdown for King. Touchdown, Garen Prep. They're going to the same side of the same corner. You see the double route here. One stops and one just keeps going. The corner bit on the short route. Just a real good drive right off the bat by Garen. That's what they need to do. Ridgewood is a strong football team. And they knew if they went up early on them, they might have a good chance of staying in the ball game. Screen pass, pump and go. Wide Jacobson open. has a man wide open. It's right on the money. That's Marco Vitale. Touchdown, Ridgewood. 41 yards on the scoring play. We're an extra point away from being tied at seven. You can see right here, nobody on him. There was a man on the slot, but they never got. It should have been a rotation of the corner over on the outside man and the safety or linebacker on the slot. Somebody lost coverage, easy touchdown right here. Ridgewood two out of three so far on third down. Jacobson back to pass, back corner of the end zone, and it is into the end zone, and it is caught. Jake Karkoska makes the catch, and Ridgewood has their first lead of the day. Well, it's just a go route at the top of your screen. He had a slot over there. They spread it out real good. He just went to the outside man, and that's usually the best throw to make because if he doesn't catch it, it's out of bounds, and you got another play coming up. But a good throw and catch right there. Southern continues to warm up in the bullpen, but Chagall will be the quarterback. Nice job of picking up a late rusher, ball downfield, and that is picked off. And they have a return set up. Cody Ferking trying to get to the end zone, and he is in for a touchdown. Wait, yeah, there's the signal. Thought I went a little early, and another one of the Garen Prep players down on the field, but it's an interception return for a touchdown by Ferking. And that's a transition. In many cases, you know, we talk about the different things that you work on on Thursdays. That's one of them. Now, you don't spend more than maybe five minutes on something like that, but the kids have to know that they have to they turn into blockers, and that's exactly what they do. Now, he throws the ball up for grabs. Looks like a good throw right here, but you can see the double coverage. And just a good job of transition, as we mentioned. You can see the blockers going out in front of them who were just defensive players. Now they become offensive players. Fourth down and one. Ridgewood will go for it, and they didn't get the freebie. And then Rice gets absolutely buried. Wow. Rice never got started. Vinny Kayetti knocked him down. And how about this for Garen Prep? 
they get the ball right at midfield as they try to get a touchdown to get themselves back in the game. Well, there was just no blocking at the point of attack whatsoever. You can see everybody just standing up, and he comes home free and pops right in for a no gainer and a nice, nice turnover right here from the standpoint of Garen getting excellent field position at midfield. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of air times or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.